Hey everyone, Ninja here from NTP, and I'm just here with a quick update video just to show you some things that I've done and that hopefully I'll have coming out pretty soon. Uh, this past week I've been busy with a lot of work, and in my free time I've been either playing a bit of stuff on Xbox One or I've been messing around with it to try and figure out how to record stuff on Xbox One. Um, that's really, I haven't had much success, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> it hasn't gone very well, mostly because. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't want to record. I, I, I think the solution is I have to stream all my footage, and then I have to take the videos from the stream and make those, like, videos on YouTube or something. It's really weird, so I might have to start streaming just to record on Xbox One, which I don't mind doing, but it'd be really weird to... Well, I don't know, maybe I could just start streaming, I don't know. But so far, that's that's seeming to be the only solution I can find, because... Obviously, I want to record for like a, a couple hours or something of like sessions because I want to play stuff like Overwatch and maybe Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 because those are some really fun games that I enjoy playing. And um, it'd be nice to stream that, I guess, but I wouldn't really have a very good setup. Sound would be questionable. I wouldn't know if it was really, I don't know, you, you get the point. I don't really know if it'd be going well or not or if I even have any sound. I might be recording my sound completely separate, so I might not even have any sound in the stream, so I don't know. Um, but I, don't, I think that's going to be my solution, is just streaming all the videos, streaming all the footage, taking that uh, footage from the stream, and then just making that the videos. So, anyway, that's just what I've been messing around with. Hopefully I can get it figured out soon so I can just start recording stuff on Xbox One, because I haven't been on my 360 that much uh, this past week. Um, but anyway, so I, I still have a few things that I'm going to show off here. So obviously I've been saying in front of this for a minute or two now. And if you know anything about uh, amiibos or anything, this is what that is. This is I, I I physically have this in real life, this model of Mario. Um, and yeah, I thought, well, he's blocky. He looks like he belongs in Minecraft, so I just made him a Minecraft. He's, it's gonna be like a little backway passage through here. We need to completely remake this because this looks like, well, it's not that great. Uh, we can make it better, more modernized, I guess. But um, through here. Basically, from the spawn point, um, oh, I'm hitting stairs. Uh, I want to have like a pathway going through here, like going through the tube, like going around Mario, and then maybe leading over here to more stuff. Because I like to add stuff over like on this island and everything. So like I need to clear out more stuff over here. And I have a really secret project, um, something that's going to be like more underground, since you know this is a real world. Um, like there could be a passageway going down the tube, like the pipe here. And it could lead into something. I don't want to give anything else about it right now. But I was making this, and I was like, well, I could probably make something underneath the tube. And then my imagination started running wild, and I was like, ooh, that'd be really cool. You know, just ideas started popping up. So it's going to take a long time, but I think I'll progressively update you guys on how, how the uh, progress is going. Depends on how much Minecraft I've been playing. Um, obviously, these past few days I haven't played as much. I've been mostly on my Xbox One. Or just playing with friends. So I haven't recorded as much. Um, but also, there will be a tutorial coming for this eventually. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Because this is very organic, as you can tell. It's not like you know normal statue like we have over here, where they're just very flat. Plain, simple squares. Simple uh, you know designs and everything. This is a bit more complicated. Um, so I'm going to be doing like a block-by-block block kind of thing with this guy. So obviously, I have to like memorize how to make this guy. And that's going to take a little bit of time. So, I'll eventually make a tutorial for this. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. Um, the other thing that I want to show off real fast, video-wise, that will be coming out fairly soon. This is going to be the cartoon section. This will be coming out soon, too. Some stuff in here. There's a lot of like little things, as you can see, as I'm flying around. So, things in here will eventually be uh, tutorials as well. But over here um, is Overwatch characters. Yes, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, as I've mentioned. So we have a lot of characters here. I'm just going to breeze down here. I don't have all of them yet. I have about half of the ones I'm going to make. So, And the reason why I don't have all of them yet is because these take a long time to design. Um, unlike other characters, like I was doing for anime and stuff, I could get about, about 10 done in a night, which a night is usually about a few hours. With these guys, I can only make like one or two because there's so much detail going on with these guys. I don't know what to... It's just like some sometimes I don't understand the coloring for some of these, and they're, they're, they they came out looking really good. I'm really happy with how a lot of these guys came out looking. It's just they have so much going on with them. So 
Starting from left to right, we got Genji, McCree, Pharaoh, Reaper, Soldier 76, Tracer, of course, as if you know anything about Overwatch, you've probably seen Tracer somewhere. Um, we also have Bastion, Hanzo, Junkrat, May, and finishing off with Torbjorn. And the reason why I stopped with Torbjorn here and I didn't keep going, next is actually Widowmaker. Um, because I'm going in order as they are on the select screen, so down there's attack, there's defense. After Widowmaker we have the tanks and everything. Um, but on the back of Torbjorn, if you know what he looks like, he has like these exhaust pipes on the very back of him, and they're really big, and they, they basically they go as high as like his head, but they come out like right here in this corner, and his head is like blocking that, so I don't know how I'm going to make this right now, it's just a little weird. But um, so far I think they've all come out looking really good. I've tried to um, make them as unique as possible, so as you can see I've even had their stuff on their back like Torbjorn's thing. Uh, we got May's little cryo thing and like her little robots. Uh, Junkrat's got his rip tire there. Hanzo's got all of his like ribbons and stuff, you know. But that look that ended up looking pretty cool. Bastion, of course, has his giant turret, and then just some like some hat effects and stuff on the back of him. Farah's got her wings. She came out looking pretty cool. Genji, he's got he needs a little bit of detail in his back here. When I first made him, I wasn't too happy with him, and he's probably still my least favorite so far, um, just because I don't really know how I feel about Genji right now. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be adding on more stuff to him, doing some, like, a little bit more detailing, so hopefully that'll uh, come out looking pretty good. But for now, it actually, I'm kind of happy with how all these guys look, and I have pictures all the way up to Bastion right now, so I could probably do tutorials of these first, let's see, seven? Yeah, first seven. Uh, these last four I don't have anything for yet. Uh, we still have a lot of recording to do, obviously. I was hoping to have all of these guys done before I finish this, but that just didn't, it just didn't happen. <laughs> um, by the way, there's two characters I will not be making. So if you play the game, you know these characters. Um, I will not be making a statue for Roadhog or Winston right now. I'll go ahead and throw up pictures. On the left, I'll have Roadhog. On the right, I'll have what Winston uh, looks like. And if you look at these guys, you might be able to, tell like why I'm not making them and you might think that Winston is actually the harder version like the harder statue uh, to make but that's not true Roadhog is the harder one the reason why Winston isn't is because there's a mod on Minecraft like for PC that adds in gorillas as NPCs um, so I could just base Winston's model off of that and you know just make it a little bit bigger or something just you know, mess around with it, probably make it a little bit better looking. Uh, but as far as Roadhog goes, if I'm going to do him any justice, he has to be, like, bigger and rounder than all the other characters. So he's going to be almost organic, kind of like that Mario I showed you earlier. And while it's not a big problem, I... I, I just... I, I, I'm drawing blanks when it comes to him. Because all these other characters, I know how I'm going to make them, but I... I don't really know how I'm going to make Roadhog. Um, Winston, I did say I have an idea how to make him, but... I, after making all these characters up to this point, they're just so, just, they're so tedious, because they have just so much going on with every character. So much, I mean, you can just look at Hanzo and Junkrat alone, and that's a lot of stuff going on with one character. I mean, Hanzo's, like, half his body's got a tattoo, the other half is, like, a, like, a freaking glove, and all these markings all over him, and he's got, like, a freaking sash, and he's got all, he's got, like, a quiver on his back, and, like, there's just so many. And Junkrat, Junkrat's even worse. He's got a peg leg, a blown off arm. He's got soot and stuff all over him. He's got all these tattered things on his pants. He's got bombs on him. His hair's like freaking on fire. <laughs> and there's all this stuff going on with his hair. Like, there's so much with each character. And just making all of it takes so long. I like making them because they end up looking amazing. Like, Junkrat's probably my favorite. Um, he's also my favorite character. I don't know if I mentioned that. But, like, he's probably my favorite so far, how how freaking good he looks. But these other characters, like, while they also look awesome, and I'm glad that I have them in here, they're just going to take so long to make. Because I'm trying to be so attentive to detail and make them correctly. So, it's just taking a long time for these characters. Um, but, yeah, these should be coming out hopefully soon. Um, I don't, We haven't recorded these yet, so... Uh, these might take a few days to come out. Tomorrow I have a video coming out. It's going to be of this pixel wall over here, the subscriber pixel wall. Um, I actually recorded it last week, but it got pushed back. Um, I was planning on releasing it last Sunday, so I'm just going to release it this Sunday. Um, so basically this wall, this wall of pixel art that subscribers have made. I'm, it's going to be coming out tomorrow. So look out for that. Um, 
I think that is about it for this video. I don't really have much else to show. It's just I've been working on the Overwatch characters. I made that Mar that Mario. He's going to be a bit of a longer project. Um, there's plans on us to do something for 4th of July. Also, I had planned on doing a Ninja News for the end of the month here. But I don't think it's going to happen because uh, Miatum, um, like I have to have something for him to do, like a commercial and everything and an outro. And I don't have like anything yet like a script or anything written down yet for him to do. So that probably won't happen. Maybe, probably next month because, you know, I need another month. Also, there's like stuff we're planning to do for 4th of July. I'm pretty sure I said that already. But a um, couple things I'm planning doing. It's a holiday in America for those who aren't in the United States. Um, really, it's just we shoot off fireworks and we're like, yeah, America. It's really, that's, that's the holiday. That's... For those who don't understand what 4th of July is, that's the holiday. You shoot off fireworks and everyone's like, yeah, America. That's that's pretty much it. Americans, you, you could probably agree with me on this. That's, that's really all it is. Everything's red, white, and blue, like Mario here, and fireworks and everything are going off. That's that's it. There's no, and then you get to stand outside all night and get eaten up by mosquitoes. That That's how it works, um, 4th of July. So there's going to be a few things for that, um, just because it's a holiday and I feel like doing something a little special. Like, do, do a little bit more specials, right? Because we've just been doing random, like, anime stuff this whole time, and I want to make, like, other things. So, I'm going to end it on here where I started it. Um, I'll update you guys kind of frequently, because I don't have a Ninja News coming out, so there'll be more things probably coming more frequently. Hopefully, I'll have, uh, recordings finally on Xbox One. I'm going to mess with it more today, <laughs> hopefully more tonight. I do have work early in the morning, so... Um, I may not be able to do too much tonight. I actually, actually, now I think about it, I might just spend my night on here building some stuff and getting stuff done and, uh, on my Xbox 360 instead of messing with Xbox One more. Um, but I will be moving over there soon to Xbox One, so hopefully it won't take too much longer. We'll just have everything moving over there soon. It'll be interesting to see how things work. I just want to make sure that I can get everything recording on there first before I move things over, because if I move things over and I can't record, that's obviously a big problem, so, uh, hopefully that'll work. Um, but that's about it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was a little bit longer than I probably expected. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you for the next one.